so I thought I'd get a little bit of peddling in while I talk to you. Hi, this is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money, and I love to help people keep some more of their own hard-earned money. How you do it today? <laughs> Hope that this video finds everybody doing well. You know what's great about pedaling and pedaling and pedaling? You could just pedal all day long, especially, you know, these stationary type bikes, right? Pedal all day long and get nowhere fast. <laughs> That's how it feels sometimes, right? Oh, my gosh. But doing things like this a little bit every single day, it all adds up. Just like saving money, a little bit every single day adds up. Well, it is Saturday. February 18th, when you're listening to this, but I'm actually recording this on Friday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've grown accustomed to doing this like three times a day. How many out there have a stationary bike? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm thinking of putting on some music. Hang on a second. Let's see. Can you hear it? <laughs> well, anyway... So tonight we have a really nice um, nice lineup, actually, throughout the day. I'm going to be, first of all, I'm going to be on the Steve Young 74 show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll talk about important stuff, as always. Probably going to talk about stockpiling in a little more in-depth. 1.30 this afternoon on his channel. And then tonight, go over to Sensible Living with Money Mom channel. And that's where you will find such extremely wonderful people. I am so honored to have met Hope and Larry from the Under the Median channel. Yes, they are so sweet. Just the way you see them on camera is just the way I met them off camera. Wow, amazing. It was just, oh my gosh. And the information, you're going to really, really appreciate. So I'm just trying to like rev you up to get over there tonight and of course at 1 30 this afternoon <laughs> you know i can't believe here we are all right technically for me it's the 17th and then the 18th where is the time going and i had a realization about time you know what the realization that i had is now i've been on this platform since july 22nd of 2018 Okay, and I did a little math and I had a little bit of a revelation. Want to know what the revelation was? You won't believe it. I have been on this platform longer than the amount of time that I went to high school. This, I'm on this platform almost five years in July. High school is only four years. So I completed, of course, I completed high school, obviously. But so that's Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, plus as if adding a half a year of freshman in college. Where is the time going? <laughs> oh, another thing that happened this week. You want to know? So I came across a laundry bag. Get a load of this. And this laundry bag, great bag. And I always used to send it off to the what? Laundromat. And I found an original ticket still pinned on to it so i'm going to talk more in depth about that on the sunday afternoon chat so i just thought i'd give you a mention of that and it's really really important did you ever get anything in your life that virtually like virtually paid for itself like literally it just like paid for itself let's see where i'm at with these steps hang on oh okay Look, <laughs> but um, this is fun. So honestly, I now I got this thing as a Christmas gift or Christmas Christmas slash birthday gift because both occur in December, and I really love it. I love using it, but I do it three times a day. Sometimes maybe four at like half hour increments but i'm not concerned for example about things like um 
the number on the stride, I mean like the number on the tension, because the tension dial. Because honestly, I am still at the early tension dial. Now, if I want to go faster, I go faster, but I'm manning the camera too. So, whatever. It's the idea that I do this. Again, incrementally, I'm waving at you, hello, hello. <laughs> just saying, just saying. So let me see, a cup of coffee. Well, since I'm recording this on Friday night, I could pretend I just had a cup of coffee. <laughs> no, I did not have a cup of coffee recently. I did have a hot chocolate, though, at 2.30. I look at it this way. I look forward to my 2.30 p.m. It's either tea or hot chocolate. It's like, you know, those moments in life. <laughs> Reminds me of an old, um, an old fashioned thing they used to say back in the day. Who drinks coffee more than once a day? Who drinks hot chocolate? Who doesn't care for hot drinks? Let me know if you don't care for hot drinks, even in the winter. Sorry, I could drink, literally, I could drink a hot drink, literally, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Yes, even in the summer. I mean it. I really, really mean it. <laughs> so, anyway, hope you guys get to the shows. I really, really do. You're going to get a bunch of information. You're going to have a good time. And Dawn will be at the um, chat tonight. So you may want to check that out at the live chat. I will try to be there too. So it'd be a great opportunity to say hello. It'd be really, really nice. Well, anyway, thank you for sharing a few minutes with me. And I will continue on. I shall carry on. You know what? It just, uh, it just dawned on me. I want to talk to you a sec before I go about the laundry one second i know some people are like no 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 more laundry talk no more laundry talk <laughs> no all right literally i only had get a load of this load boy i didn't mean to use that word like laundry load that's too funny okay i literally literally already i did the math i'm going to get more in depth about it on sunday I did the math. I literally already saved $30. That $30, I am mentally applying what I paid for for the little machine. Is there anything that you can do cost-wise that would improve your life and actually, even in a relatively short period of time, pay for itself? Just saying, just saying. Like, is there anything that you want? that will end up paying for itself. That's actually for your betterment. That's something only you can answer. Now, how many of you folks have to do your laundry in a public laundry? Let me know in the comment section below. What is your opinion about it? Hey, listen, you have to go there. You have to go there. You don't want to beat your clothes up against the rock. I get that. None of us do. <laughs> but do consider if even if you live in a small home or apartment, or you just want to be able to like in between going to the you know regular laundromat to get one of these. I don't make a dime for saying all this. I'm just saying that it just adds up into savings in my honest opinion. Because there are times in life you have to save to spend and spend to save. In this case, most definitely it was spending not that much in my case. To get back a lot of value well anyway i'm going to continue on with this off camera for about mm, 20 more minutes i'll pop on one of my favorite videos to watch doing this but by the way i highly recommend this product again i don't get a dime for saying it just saying just saying all right everybody thank you so much for being here and i look forward to seeing everybody again real soon Take good care. Bye-bye. Let's see if I can shut this off right. Hang on. <laughs>